All right, all right. Praise the Lord. And coming back once again, hope everybody is still doing well. I'm going to dive right into this video. As you can see my title, You Preachers Ain't Nothing But Hypocrites. You preachers and religious folks that do this ain't nothing but hypocrites. And once again, y'all know me, I'm doing this video out of love. And I had quite a few inboxes because the video I did about, actually the two videos I did about President Obama. And let me say this off top. If you're not intelligent enough to sit down to be able to have a conversation without getting mad and, oh, you you so sensitive about this subject, this page will never be for you. This page, I keep it real, and I don't care who you are, pastor on down. And I don't bite my tongue on the truth, but I love each and every last one of you, even though you might not agree with some of the stuff I say. Now, this is why I want to title this video this, because... In the President Obama video, I made a statement. I said that I don't know why so many preachers and religious folks who was for Obama at first done turned around and now we need to get him out of office and oh, he won't agree with same-sex marriage and all of that stuff. Y'all hypocrites. You are the same ones that sit up every Sunday and allow anything to go on with homosexuality in the pulpit in the choir stand, on the musician style. Now, I'm finna say some stuff that's gonna make you mad, but once again, I love you. And you get mad, just get, get mad at God. First of all, homosexuality has been around before any, any one of us looking at this video. You, it, it has been around before you was born. And when you go back to Genesis, it speaks for itself. I'm not gonna get into the scriptures because we got plenty of scriptures on that on her. But that is nothing new. There is nothing new under the sun. What we seeing now is nothing new than what happened than what happened back in the Old Testament, in the old days. And this is why I'm going to speak real because I talk to a lot of pastors all the time, preachers all the time. Because next beside preaching, what is the other biggest ministry in the church? The music department. Most people are going to go to church because they want to hear some good singing. A lot of them going so they can just be entertained, like I said before. A lot of people go so they can, well, let me join the choir. What kind of choir do you have? And what's going on now is that we have so much confusion. Now, let me bring you to my title, You Ain't Nothing But Hypocrites. Because you want to sit up and talk about the world all day and all night, gossiping about the prostitute lady and, the, oh, they singing that secular music and all that stuff. Well, let me bust your bubble for a moment. All, everybody got something wrong with them. Everybody. I don't care who you are. Everybody has a weakness. If I could ask everybody looking at this video, what's your weakness? Some of us wouldn't even want to open up our mouth and tell the truth. Some of us going home to fight with it right now. And I'm not, I'm not here to, to condemn nobody. But I'm going to tell the truth about what's going on. You you ain't nothing but hypocrites because you sit up and talk about this person, that person. Then you got something wrong with you. Oh, he cussed too much. Or oh, he, he drank too much. And you used to cuss harder than anybody. And you probably still slip up at times behind closed doors, cussing at your husband or some cussing at their wives. So you ain't nothing but hypocrites. Now, yes, President Obama, I, I talked about that in the video about I told you the reason why I believe he agreed with same sex marriage and and so many other things that I don't agree with but I don't dislike President Obama as a man. I believe I I I believe he's a very intelligent man, very smart man, very wise man, but at the same time like I tell you scripture teaches me you obey the laws of the land, you obey until a leader contradicts the Bible and, and go against the Bible, you do not follow behind that. And that's what I was saying in that video. Now, to you to you preachers, to you religious folks, to some of you first ladies, some of you just think y'all know it all and, and y'all got it all figured out and y'all gonna make it into heaven before anybody else. Well, answer me this. How is it you can get mad at what President Obama did but we got gay musicians and gay preachers that's been in the church I don't know how long now. See, I know that make folks mad, but I'm going to tell the truth. 
this homosexuality in the church, in the big gospel field, it's been all over for how long now? And yet still, oh, you mad because Obama agreed with it. Well, how long you been letting it go on in your church to the ones that's doing this? If your church is moving forward, you ain't got to worry about listening at this video. But to these ones, these hypocrites, you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. Just like the religious folks. You just like the Pharisees. You sit up here and talk about this person, that person. But at the same time, when I walk in your church, I see a gay person on the organ. I see two women on the praise team that's that's loving each other. They go together. They got they can't wait till church is over so they can go lay around with each other. I see musicians holding hands and can't wait to church out because they, they ready to go get booty with each other. I got to tell the truth. I don't care. Get mad. Get mad all you want. But yet and still, you talking bad about Obama. This is hip. This is being a hypocrite. And here it is. You got folks that just sit up and allow everything to go on. And here it is. Oh, you cheer it on every week. You're cheering it on. Oh, he can sing. Oh, he can preach. Oh, he can show, play that, whoop that organ. You clapping and cheering it on. But when you go home, they need to get him off that organ. I don't know why they still got her in leadership. And you preachers, I got to hit y'all for a minute. I'm praying for you. I love you. Truth hurt. I'm bold with mine. I don't care. I stand hard for the Lord. You sit up here and take these, you talk about them behind their back, but you don't want to sit them down in leadership position. You sit there and take their tithe money every Sunday. Mm. Let me say that again. You sit there and take their tithe money every Sunday. Where you going with this, JT? When your paycheck becomes bigger than your ministry, something is seriously, seriously wrong with you. When your paycheck becomes bigger than your ministry. You're talking about him, but yet it's still, oh, he's going to bring that money in here. What is your church based on? The truth? The true gospel teaching? Trying to save souls or keep folks confused? Because if you are not teaching the cross, bringing people to the cross, salvation, eternal life, and you just concerned about money, I feel sorry for you. But I'm praying for you because Judgment Day, you're going to get a great rude awakening. So you ain't nothing but hypocrites. I get so sick of religious folks. To, oh, oh, they playing that, that, that secular music. Oh, oh, he done took a drink. He, done, he on the corner doing this. She doing that. She still this. She still that. What's wrong with you? Hmm. What is wrong with you? See, you have to learn to start praying for others. Loving others, caring for others. Instead of downing people all the time, when the last time you tried to reach them? And I tell you, I'm speaking to this because also, I always speak from a minister of music point of view because if you ain't ran into homosexuality yet and, and, and the church keep on playing, you're going to run right into it. One of these days, you're going to see it. And if you've been doing it long as I have, you're going to see it pretty much everywhere you go. It don't matter what state you in, what town, what city, you're going to see it all over. And you're going to see most people cheering it on. So once again, I'm going to say this off top. Obama didn't do nothing different than what you preachers been allowing to go on for years and years and years. How is it almost every church I walk in, it's a gay man on the organ? It's a woman with four or five kids and ain't never been married. That's over the youth department. Something wrong with this. And your house is not in order, but you in the pulpit. Something is wrong with this. And when you get the, when you let one thing like that get in, oh, your whole church is going to be out of order. Because if you got a weak leading pastor, if he's weak, then you got a weak church. You got a weak, you got weak leadership. And it's no way in hell that that church is going to function right. You might get a whole lot of people in there. See, I don't, I don't have no problem with a big building. I don't. But my question is, what's inside of your big building? Because I don't been to plenty of big buildings and I just see a whole lot of stuff ain't right. So why you mad at President Obama when you doing the same thing? He said it one time, and here you are allowing it, and you see it every Sunday. But they, but it, but yet and still, oh, I'm going to take their tired money. I'm going to leave them in position. As long as my money is coming in, forget about standing on the truth. This is what you're doing. So you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. So in other words, stop talking about the prostitute. Stop talking about the pimp. Stop down on the thug. Stop getting mad at all the people that's singing and rapping and all this stuff when the church looks just like Hollywood. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to close after this because 
I'm a music producer also. I told you, I done been on, I done been in the studio with gospel artists. Let me tell you something. They talk to you crazier than the rappers will. They will cuss you out. They will out drink you harder than the rappers and the R&B singers that you can't stand. And everybody going to church on Sunday morning ain't singing to the Lord. Everybody that's standing in your pulpit ain't glorifying God. You better wake up and stop trying to focus on who's worse than who and start praying for others. So what did Obama do that was so bad that and why you want to put him over here like he's a bad man now? And, and I'm not taking enough for Obama now because I disagree with a whole lot of stuff that Obama did. But once again, I still respect him as a man because that's still somebody's husband. That's still somebody's father. I respect him and I would never get on camera and just, just bash on him. Now, if you can't handle it when I say I disagree with you, you don't need to be on my page. No way. Anybody that stand up to me, and even if it wasn't Obama, anybody that stand up to me and tell me, "Oh, I, I ain't got no problem with it," allow it to go on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play no part of that person, and that's why I got a problem with most of you preachers. And I pray that y'all looking at this video once again. This is out of love, but I know you're gonna get mad because truth hurt. You ever want to make somebody mad? Tell them the truth about themselves. Homosexuality been going on in the church from day one. All the, yeah, what they call it now, coming out of the closet. And you don't know who's gay now because you people that look regular, men and women, you won't even know they gay unless they tell you that they gay. But how is it we got gay people over the youth department? Gay people in leadership. And once again, I love you, homosexuals. If you're looking at this video, I'm not condemning you. I love you. I just, I don't, I don't agree with the sin, but I got something wrong with me. But see, the thing is, are you repenting? See, I got stuff wrong with me, but I don't have the same stuff wrong with me. Y'all will catch that later on because I am new in Christ. I ain't never been a homosexual. Never. And don't plan on ever being one because I love women too much. But I did have my share of, oh, I need this woman in my life. I want to sleep with her. I want to outdrink this man. Let me go on the cone and hang with my boys and I know they ain't doing right. Let me hop in and out these cars. Let me do stuff that God don't like. See, I talk about myself. I had a whole lot of stuff that I had to straighten up. Ain't that right, K-Ray? We had to straighten up before we wind up dead. From growing up where I'm, oh man, let me leave that alone. I ain't even going to get off into all that. So once again, I'm just telling the truth. So you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. Why you think most religious people got a problem with my page? It's the religious folks that don't get along with JT. I ain't got no problem with the sinners because sinners always keep it real. And I always remember where I used to be. And I still remember where I'm at now when I slip up at times and I miss the mark. Ain't that right, many man, when I have to just say, Lord, forgive me. I'm truly repenting. I, I know I, I didn't mean to do this, but I, I did it and I'm sorry. And I don't want to do this again, Lord. Forgive me. Take this away from me. I ain't going to sit up on, on camera and off camera and try to act like I'm a saint. And if you really truly understood what a saint is, you, you would understand a saint ain't something that you call yourself because you think you done done so good. Let me give you something before I end. A saint is one of the worst people that probably ever lived. And somebody will catch that later on why I said that. Because think about yourself and how bad you used to be. I don't consider myself a saint. I consider myself a servant who need work on every day of the week. Lord, help JT. I felt you, many man, in that video. We all need to say the same thing you said, many man. Lord, help me. Fix me. Fix me, Lord Jesus. Good God Almighty. Let the church say amen. You can't handle the truth. If you see this video, don't click on it. God bless you.